So what is the update? Let me show you. First of all, now all the media files are within the DRFX file. So all you have to do now is double click that DRFX file and then it will prompt you to install this or overwrite the one that you already have. If you have tested the beta version one, this is basically just the same number, the same name so that it just overwrites that. All right now the media files are all inside that. So you can delete that media files folder that we put in the templates path in the beta version one. So how does this work? All you have to do is find the effect on the same location and we're going to add these to our image and we're going to have to press play and that flicker is not supposed to happen anymore. If it does happen again to you, let me know. But on the effects section, we can see now that we have a media tracker column and we press go and then press X to delete all the data points previously added. So you want to do this after you have adjusted your clip's length. If you're going to make your clip or image stay longer, make sure you have that duration set before you track these. That way you don't have to repeat that process again. So press go and we're going to track backwards. Now you can press go again and we're going to track forward. The only issue here is that it doesn't show you how long it takes in the edit page. So if you want to be sure to know how long it takes, click up here and go into fusion. Selecting the effect, we're going to track this forward and we can see it now happening here on our timeline. Now we can go back and press play and we have that effect tracked onto the paper. Now what's new again, uh, just the UI elements here. We have this tracker here and then we have this image or the, the media image right here separating the media section and then everything else is the same. But the values of the things you can change and adapt are all the same. The overall position, then the media transform position, then the apply mode, and also the paper base position. And the paper view control, which allows you to adjust things like that. Okay, now one thing that somebody mentioned was that when they also had that flicker, but after changing anything here in the media section, in the media transform section, that was fixed. So if you still get that flicker, do let me know but also try this out and see if that actually fixes. You might have to do something with the caching of the effect, right? Now, what happens if we want to add this effect to a video clip? The main issue in that case, or in this case, is that if we add the effect to a video clip, uh, the intro works fine, but the ending, it's only going to take the end of the actual video clip right here for the outro animation of our paper. This is not a big deal if you don't want the outro to happen, like if you're just going to cut through or if you're going to cut straight through another, like if you're going to cut straight to another scene, then it doesn't matter. But if you want to have this effect to come in and out, the way to do this or the workaround for this is to turn your video into a fusion clip. So first, make sure to adjust the duration of the clip. So the amount of time that you will want this to be on screen like this, for example, then we can turn this into a fusion clip. You can press Alt F and then F2 right here and rename these like that, for example. And then we're going to add the effect to these. And now that outro is going to happen right at the end of that fusion clip again. What happens if you want to make these longer Then you have to go through that whole process again, because it doesn't matter if you go to this clip too and make this longer to adjust that main clip right here. If I press play now, after I made that change, the edit is not gonna, or the effect is not gonna happen until we get to that last point again. So make sure to add this effect as the last part when you're working these, when you're using these on a video clip. So that is pretty much the beta 2 update. 